Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here. Now, I'm really diving into one of the most incredible works of art I've seen for Power BI. Um, and this was created by a, it was a collaborative effort. And, and I wanna just go into a few key points here around how I think you can, within your organizations, improve your Power BI development by working with others, working in combination with others. And you know, when you do that, I think that you can really uh, use the uh, best attributes of everyone to create better solutions, better applications. You know, um, and, and what we've got here is just a perfect example of, of this. So this is a, a, a relative, this is really hot off the press um, of one of our um, enterprise DNA, the Power BI challenges that enterprise DNA puts on. And this was a real world data set uh, on how um, on a, um, a shipping company and working out and understanding all the logistics um, insights for this specific company and what has been created here as a as a collective group is amazing absolutely amazing and if I just I want to actually highlight to you who's actually in this um, in this in this team um, if I can find it um, in the only enterprise DNA forum. So first of all, you can come to Power BI Challenge 12. You'll see it in the enterprise DNA forum. But if you want to um, also check out who our experts are, and you you you, you will know some of our experts because they're um, already creating content on the enterprise DNA uh, TV channel. Um, so if I just find them here, I want to really call them out because just just some incredible work. So we have a range of enterprise DNA experts. And in this particular case, uh, we had Brian was was one of them, uh, and we had um, where is it? Mudasir. Mudasir is you know, so 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 just to give you you know this is how you can work cleverly. Brian brings a lot of advanced analytics techniques and a greater executing and organizing. Mudasir is amazing at um, his you know he brings su such strong attributes around design. Um, and uh, Greg brings a lot of ideas around sort of best practice and storytelling within um, with, within your reports, just based on his consulting experience. And also we have um, Jarrett, I think, and Jarrett is, is is very very similar. Works with uh, within a consulting capacity, understands okay, here are the key insights that we need to showcase to to our customers. And then when you combine all those efforts, you can create reports that really harness all of those all of that expertise all together right and i'm sure in the future we're going to get the team to create a video about how exactly they did it but i want to walk through some of the amazing things that they've done here because there's still there so much data that went into this particular model but they've summarized it in such a succinct way that it's so easy to get the insights out right there's such a good story to tell here so very quickly you know you you come to a home page that looks like honestly like um, a piece of artwork <laughs> and um, you can quickly by clicking on this particular element here you can get a, a overview of all of the information all of the key information trade dealings experts exports versus imports profitable jobs non-profitable jobs so there's basically just some text here probably these are these are cards or this is this is a, a visualization which is subbing in um, summing in some key key metrics on you know with, within text telling a story and I think that's a really valuable um, idea to um, to utilize in, in any report really is you know you don't just have to use visualizations you can really effectively use text as well also on the left hand side there's this beautiful um, transparent uh, like sort of menu bar on the side right and just some really neat setup and some dynamic text as well uh, so, you know, diving into sea shipments, air shipments, and rail and road shipments. So breaking things out into key insights, right? like key KPIs right from the word go. And I'm sure that Moodacy in this particular case had a lot to do with the, the, the visual application of this. And then also, you know, just some really nice navigation experiences here. Like um, you can click on this, this nice, this, this uh, magnifying glass here and it takes you and this would just this would honestly be created just using bookmarks i'm trying to sort of backwards integrate i don't i haven't actually looked at the underlying power bi file but this is very likely just um just bookmarking bookmarking pages uh bookmarking certain elements in a page and that enables you to flick between uh, one look and another look so a really simple um, and easy thing that you can implement 
And then here you can actually dive, like look how they've set this out in a really neat way. I mean, there's basically, this is just setting out text so it's easy to sort of see where things are at. And you've got to remember that the data looked nothing like this. This is all just creative collaboration. Just, just thinking high level, okay, what do we need to showcase here? Well, we want to be able to uh, come into here and very quickly click on a uh, click on say a shipment and there's obviously like some unique codes that go into that and then see exactly what that shipment is and you can just you know it's it's going to be you know this could be shown in so many different ways but they obviously came to a conclusion where if we just represent it like this you know that's going to be really useful for the for the user okay now also within here i love this menu bar i mean just think about how this sort of sinks into the background i think it's just such a compelling look i mean it's very much like a web-based application right and imagine walking in every day and be able to look through this, looking at all your key insights. I mean, it's just just phenomenally good. And so if you click across to key metrics, you'll see again a really beautifully designed. I presume like my guess here would be this is, you know, they've worked out what they want the um, the background to look like. And so they've got this sort of like tablet shape uh, and they've, they've embedded in that tablet shape a um, a nice um, a nice background. Uh, my guess, my my guess here is they probably use PowerPoint for this background, which is which is absolutely fine. Um, PowerPoint, you can use PowerPoint to create these nice backgrounds because you see when I click around here, there's no elements, and so you can create these nice backgrounds and then just overlay, say text or buttons, etc., that enable you to click through different pages. But it's got exactly the same background, so it looks like it's this um, the similar like the same application, but in the background you've got multiple pages of Power BI reports all sort of hidden that only appear when you actually click on these elements. So beautifully designed. And then within here, they've also, um, I would say, uh, my guess would be they've got some there's some, some bookmarking happening, right? So they've got, a me they've got menus within menus. And so you can have a look at, say, revenue. You can break down um, into costs. So they've identified that, you know, you want to break out by revenue, costs, and profit. And by clicking through here, we are looking at a, uh, a, 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 a menu within a menu, basically. Okay, and you still got the sidebar out the side here. There was there was a decision that th th made that that was a good thing to continue to have up here. And if you click on these, I presume you um, these will filter the other um, the other ones here. So maybe there wasn't a profit in this case in this particular shipment. So beautifully designed, and just the ability to drill down into specific aspects of the data again, very very nice. This next one is uh, diving into, again, shipments. And so a similar sort of setup here, which is really nice. So you can click through to different um, different parts and you'll see that you're able to navigate to that particular insight very, very quickly and easily. Um, and again, um, let's have a look down here, more filters. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. Beautiful, beautiful. So again, I love this, like just using bookmarks, um, what started as, um, you know, you're looking at high level data in this um, in this sidebar, in this the beautifully designed sidebar, you can click here, nice navigation, and then be able to flick through and create you know far more filters based on whatever you, whatever insights you want to look like. Just amazing navigation. Like there is so many ideas here. This is this is one of the best reports I've ever seen for sure. So hopefully you you can recognize that as well. Now this last one is again beautiful beautiful design. They've used some really unique geospatial analysis and if and if you didn't know already we've got a really comprehensive geospatial analysis on the enterprise dna platform so definitely check that out Le check out our learning center uh, and here is really analyzing all of the different routes all of the different shipments right and being able to really dive into any of these um, shipments so i can start at this sort of high level and you'll see that this is this is actually a custom visual. I think map box is a custom visual that enables you to do some quite interesting logistical analysis on um, uh, around geography. And so I can come in here and say I want to, okay, let's have a look at, okay, let's have a look at something that started in somewhere in Europe, right? Okay, so let's let's see Germany. We'll start with Germany. Beautiful, beautiful. So you can really dive into heaps of different things in here. So we go Netherlands. Let's see if there's anything here. Yep, there's one. Let's um, find from the United Kingdom. Beautiful. That is amazing. That is amazing how seamless that is. Um, you can have a look at, um, was were these routes profitable? As easy as that. 
not sure if that's updated yet. Was it by year? Very nice, very nice. And then again, another thing I really love about this is the easy, an easy way to clear filters is just have a, a filter icon and then change the bookmarks sitting underneath or with that click, right? Okay, so I'm just blown away. This was a, you know, the, the, the key thing behind this video is the collaborative effort here, right? Just when you collaborate, there's, you know, I, and, I, and I think there's some, some techniques that, that this group, um, that this team has used to work on versioning control, making sure that there's no duplication of effort. So, so definitely in the future, I think we will, um, we will, we will dive into, um, dive in, dive into how they actually went about that. And I, and I look forward to look forward to doing that. Um, one, one of the things that, um, I uh, would be also worthwhile showing you here is on the Enterprise DNA Showcase is that this particular team has also created another one of the, the most amazing reports I've ever seen is COVID-19 reporting. And so just being able to bring all of their thoughts together, I think, is improving all of their work. And this is what I think you want to do within your within Power BI, within your own workspaces. So, you know, if I just bring in my our own Power BI here uh, within within Enterprise DNA, this is within Teams. I always use Power BI in Teams now. It's just amazing. Um, you know, this is the sort of collaborative work that you can do in your own internal workspaces, right? So instead of everyone just doing their own individual thing, imagine what you can do if you plan out your workspaces, but then collaborative, collaboratively prioritize certain things in your workspaces. Work on the most important reports that are going to add the most value, but work on them together. And, you know, one of you might be more creatively inclined versus others who are analytically inclined. And you can, you know, do a lot of great collaboration um, and you can do so also using the Analyst Hub, right? So the Analyst Hub is um, a big part of um, being able to do that. And, you know, we have a range of different collaboration tools that you can use um, inside here that, you know, enable you to enable you to do that. So if I just quickly, quickly log in here, you know, you've got your Teams um, plus all of your different apps that you can use. So, you know, a lot can be gained from collaboration here. And then that's basically what I want to stress. And, you know, you can, you can honestly create, I mean, I'm just blown away by how good this is. I mean, Power BI is unbeatable when you can really see the links in which you can take it. So hopefully you're inspired as well. Okay, I'm going to round things off. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.